Okay, a uh, moment of honesty. I don't think I'm going to post this, but I am losing my battle to control my drinking. It's like essentially all I think about these days. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. So I wanna preface this by saying, I started my channel originally to just help as many people as possible with mental health issues, as well as addiction issues. I myself have been clean and sober since June 23rd, 2012, and my mission is just to help as many people as possible. So that clip you just saw was from another YouTuber named Big No No. He, his name is Noah. And just to give you a little bit of background, um, I stumbled across his channel when I first got into YouTube. I was doing research, I do a lot of research whenever I get into anything, and I wanted to see if there was anybody else on YouTube who was talking about sobriety and recovery and things like that. And the videos I came across on his channel were talking about sobriety, okay? So in that clip, obviously he's not doing well, all right? So in this video, I wanted to talk about the issues he's having, but First and foremost, I just wanna make it very clear, like this is not a malicious video in any way, in any way at all. I have two goals with this video, two goals. The first one is to help you out. I wanna help you see what happens, hopefully you can learn from it, and hopefully you can avoid some mistakes. Second goal, Noah, if you see this video, I've shot you a DM on Instagram already, feel free to reach out if I can help in any way, okay? So like I said, this video is not meant to be malicious in any way. I gotta preface it with that because my style of helping people who are struggling with addiction, you get a lot of tough love, all right? Because there's a very thin line between supporting somebody and enabling somebody. So we have to be honest, we have to be blunt, and we have to be truthful, like we have to, to explain what the actual issues are so hopefully we can get through that that thickness of the delusion that addiction causes okay so in this video i've set it up okay with various clips to kind of show you the progression so like i said when i found big no-no's channel i saw a lot of stuff about recovery but the first video i saw from him that was the newest video came from july 6th 2017 and here's a clip from it. When I was this person and now I'm someone else, I'm different. I wonder if this is as rambling as all fucking over the place as I think it is, but I'm different now. I'm someone who parties with his buddies on the weekends and uh, I'm someone who doesn't actively struggle with depression and anxiety anymore. Okay, so in this clip, this is a very short clip, just to let you know, that is a 20, something minute long video. This is a very short clip, I just wanted to give you some context. So as soon as I saw that, after I had already subscribed to him, I quickly hit the unsubscribe button because I have seen this story play out so many times. All right, so in this video, in the, in the overall video, he talks about struggles with depression and where his life's been at and whether or not he's gonna continue on YouTube and what his goals are and what he wants to achieve and all sorts of stuff, okay? But he admits that he's been drinking again, but it's just partying, he just goes out with his friends and everything's cool. And like I said, I have seen this story play out far, far, far too many times. And I just knew that this was heading towards disaster. I was like, this is not going to end well, all right? And what, what breaks my heart is that I've looked, and watched a bunch of Noah's other videos, and this is a man who has been clean for over a year in the past, and I won't go too far into it, but he clearly has worked a, a program before. He speaks the lingo, he's good about, um, uh, keeping the anonymity of the program, if you will, but he understands the program, okay? And that's why it breaks my heart when I see this happening. I'm like, this is gonna go somewhere very, very wrong, all right? So this next clip, okay, now we're gonna start getting into the progression of how this actually goes, all right? So this next clip comes from about two months later, no, actually the next month, on August 14th. Check it out. It's definitely an intense thing to say, hey, I think I'm an alcoholic who's trying to control his drinking. It just sounds so stupid. It's like the most moronic thing to say out loud. Was I happier sober? No. Have I overall been happier since I got back out in the world as a drinker? Yes. It seems like I'm an alcoholic. 
I'm just not a far gone alcoholic. I'm not like an extreme alcoholic. But this is something I want to do. And if I can learn to control my drinking, and I can find peace with it, then that's great. And if I can't, then may God give me the courage to admit it and just move on to the next thing. Because I have dreams, I have goals, I have responsibilities, I have passions, I have hobbies. I've got things that matter a lot more than drinking. Okay, so this is a video titled, Am I Still an Alcoholic? Now, the first mistake you made, Noah, was <laughs> you looked up the definition of alcoholism from Wikipedia. I, I don't know how it's 2018 and people are still looking at Wikipedia. Wikipedia is not a credible source. I can go in and edit whatever I want and it's not too hard. Like people play pranks on Wikipedia all the time. So yes, there is some good information on Wikipedia, not a credible source, all right? So by the way, stay tuned to the end of this video because I am going to give you guys something pretty cool, all right? So that is, first off, that is a bad source of information. But this video, this next video he made, it, it just hurt, it hurt me so bad because you can see that he's admitting he's an alcoholic, but he's trying to justify and rationalize um, what he's doing. Yeah, I am an alcoholic, but if this were on a spectrum, I'm not a bad alcoholic. I'm the okay alcoholic. I'm one who isn't too far gone. But like he says at the end, is that he just hopes, he hopes that he's able to get the help he needs if this is. And here's something that I teach at my rehab constantly all the time, every day. I say, I hope, my only hope for each person who I am trying to teach how to live a life of sobriety is that they don't need to go back and do more research, okay? I hope that they understand that they are biologically different. There is something wrong with the way that their brain processes dopamine where you cannot turn an abnormal drinker into a normal drinker. Science has not discovered a way to do that yet. But Noah mentions in this video that this is something that he's trying to do. And if you're watching this, you might know this quote. It says, the great obsession, okay, the great obsession of every alcoholic is to somehow, some way, drink like other people, all right? I might've screwed up that quote but you get what I'm saying. That is our obsession. We keep going back. That is the cause of so many relapses. We don't wanna admit that we are different than other people, okay? The, the same book that I'm referencing, it says nobody, nobody likes to admit that they are different than other people, but this is something that we have to do. Uh, an analogy I give all the time is that my dad has diabetes and it has almost killed him before. If my dad, does not fully surrender to the fact that he is a diabetic, it will kill him. It's the same thing with an, an, an addiction to drugs or alcohol. If we don't admit, if we don't understand, if we don't concede to the fact, not the opinion, but the fact that we are truly an alcoholic or an addict, it can potentially kill us, okay? Now, it, it hurts because I see that Noah says that since he's been drinking again, he's, he's not as depressed, he's having fun again. Something that most addicts and alcoholics know is that originally the drugs and the alcohol, they start as the solution to all of our problems, but eventually they become the main source of all of our problems. So what you're watching with these clips is the steady progression of addiction. All right, so this last set of clips I'm gonna show you is from his most recent video, which was recorded on January 12th of this year. Okay, a uh, moment of honesty. I don't think I'm gonna post this, but I'm losing my battle to control my drinking. It's like essentially all I think about these days. Am I gonna drink tonight? What time will I start drinking? What time do I have to get up tomorrow? How can I make it seem like I'm not drinking that much? I had like this health scare, stopped drinking because of my health scare. The moment I thought I was okay, started drinking heavy again. I had like a gastrointestinal thing. My stomach was hurting, stopped drinking because I was like scared for my body and my life. The moment I started to feel a little bit better, started heavily drinking again. Even drinking when I don't want to drink, it, it's happening. Literally just drinking when I don't even want to drink. And there you have it. 
okay? That's only about a five minute video. And by the way, I'll link to all the full videos below. So, you know, I you don't, you don't think I'm taking anything out of context or chopping it up funny, but now he's at a place. Um, we call these the yets, okay? So in his other videos, he's talking about like, I still have control, um, I, I haven't had any medical issues, um, my life is still manageable and all these things. We call those the yets. Addiction is a progressive disease, okay? So people who relapse, the, the lie that they tell themselves is like, okay, okay, I still got it under control, I still got it under control, everything's gonna be fine. But it progresses to a place where all the things that we said haven't happened, they haven't happened yet. So his most recent video in January, that he's starting to experience the yet. He's having medical issues. He can't stop. He's drinking when he doesn't want to drink. So that's why I say, like, I really try to beat it into my clients' heads that you need to figure this out now. Fortunately, fortunately for Noah, it's alcohol, but don't get it twisted. Thousands upon thousands of people die each year from alcoholism. But if you are somebody who is an opioid addict, like I was, like this is killing people. Over a hundred people a day are dying from this. That's why it's so important to understand that this is something that 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 is wrong with me. Okay, and it's not necessarily wrong. It's it's like an allergy. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with being having an abnormal reaction to alcohol or drugs. It's just something we have to accept. Imagine somebody with a peanut allergy who. The, like, just think about the insanity real quick of somebody with a peanut allergy and them, them just every time they go to the store, you, they're like, you know what? I'm going to eat peanuts like a normal person. This time, this time it's going to be different. This time I'm not going to have an allergic reaction. It's going to be okay, right? You would look at that person like they were nuts. But for some reason, not some reason, there's a lot of neurobiological explanations for this of why we justify that it's gonna be different this time with alcohol or drugs. So unfortunately, Noah is back in the situation that he started in, you know what I mean? And I really hope, I really hope that he gets some help, you know, and I'm always here. I'm always here, Noah, if you see this, reply to my DM on Instagram, you know what I mean? Like, I'm here to help people, but I really hope you all can learn lessons from this because my fear, here's my fear, my fear is that people who have followed Noah and watched his relapse, they might have thought that they can do the same, same thing. You know what I mean? That's my fear. That's my worry. So, like I said, at the end of this video, I'm gonna provide you with something. If you head over to therewiredsoul.com, if you stuck with me this whole time, go on over to therewiredsoul.com. I have an addiction course out there. Usually it's $100, I just wanna help people. If you use the coupon code, it's free, I-T-S-F-R-E-E, -E -E. I've put it right here for you, right? You can go take my addiction course for free. You'll begin to understand why you cannot turn an abnormal drinker or a drug addict into a regular user because I explained the brain science behind it, all right? And I don't care, like, I'm not here to become rich off this stuff. So if you don't think it'll help you and you think it'll help somebody else, go give that coupon code to all your friends, all your family members, educate people about addiction so we can hopefully prevent more relapses in the future, all right? So anyways, I hope this video helps some of you out. And if you wanna see the progression, like I said, you can check out Noah's full videos down here, okay? But anyways, um, if any of you have experience with relapse, if any of you can relate to what Noah's been going through, go ahead and leave your comments down below, okay? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button. I'm always making videos about addiction recovery, mental health, and all that good stuff. If you wanna check out some other videos on my channel, click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. All right, but everybody stay well, go out, love each other, help each other, and this world will be a much better place. I'll see you next time.